Hello guys, this is Gil Brennan with Tontel Hill, and I am back for another chat. chat. Now, let's go to my video section. Now, I have a lot of these videos right here. And there are a lot of them here. See, there are lots of great movies that I own right here. Some films I like, some films I do not. There really are so many films to date. And you want to know what I hate the most? That's hideous movie. Movie 43, one of the worst movies that that's ever been released. It was said to be one of the worst movies of all time. A cycle! That's, I mean, so many A-list actors, it's just downright terrible. I mean, how can it not? It's just a movie that is actually so bad that people are complaining about all this. Now, for the celebrities, I I now know that, that instead of helping, that instead of anything else, they must have signed a contract saying somewhere down the road, you're gonna have to make this movie, and we don't have a time on this, it's gonna come movie free. But at some point in your own career, it's only be to get an Oscar or to get one, you have to sign on the dotted line and have to be this stupid piece of crap. Well, but again, it's really horrible. Now, I wanna tell you how the plot in this movie works. Now, now it begins with Dennis Quaid and then and Dennis Quaid and Greg, Greg Canale. Now, Dennis Quaid becomes plays as a director who comes to the office of Greg O'Neill, and he's a movie director. And then as Craig comes in and says, I got this movie I want to pitch. Just look at my ideas. Now, who are the, who are the we go through, and who are the people who play the shorts? Now, first is Hugh Jackman and Kate Linson. Kate Linson plays as a girl who goes on a blind date with Hugh Jackman, and he's supposed to be a good catch. But the real catch here is that he has balls on his throat. I am not kidding. He definitely Two Jackman has balls on his throat. I swear to God that is true. I can't believe that just happened. That's just so downright gross. Then sketches we try to have nearly lots. Then have a son played by Jimmy Allen White, which all you may not know, but he'll be again in this movie soon. Now Shrimo watch are a couple in real life. You know, they play as a couple who homeschool a kid, and you want to get those some the real hot experience when it's like to be in high school, right down to the awful good kid and suppose a sexual, a sexual relationship with his mom. That's kind of real to me. And that's those Anna Pratt, and Chris Pratt, and Anna Ferris. Those couple too. In this, in this sketch, Anna Ferris plays as a girl, and Chris Pratt, the guy from Parts of Recreation, and Guardians of the Galaxy, if you already know, plays another guy. Now, Chris Pratt, he wants he wants to propose to her. But before that, she wants him to take a crap on her. And it was gonna be the bonding of the relationship. It's disgusting. Now the only sketches I think that are okay is the one the sketch I think is okay is the next one. Is well Emma Stone and Kim Coco in it. Kim Kim Culkin, you know the guy who's related to the Um Alone kid, but Coley. Yeah. Now he and Emma Stone play as two teenagers who talk sexy while the microphone's still on. It's kind of stupid, but has, but the but the process thing about this is that it has a fade in and a fade out in that sketch. I think that's the only one that has that. It may be stupid, but I still think it's an okay sketch for me. The next one is, is about a guy. It's about a really messed up one. It's about what Richard Gill plays as a, a head of a, co- a company who the company creates the eBay, and guys are trying to smash thinking no, you don't want. The fan, but it gets mangled because the fan is down what the the woman you know what is. Yeah. And Kate Boss will, will fix this about it. Yeah, so I agree with her. Now, the next one that I know is Jason Sudeikis and Justin Long. Huh. They don't end this movie. And they play in a horribly bad Batman parody, which I just can't stand. It's terrible. I can't believe they did that. It's really terrible. In this scene, in this scene, Robin goes on speeding, <coughs> and Batman says to me, oh, but just stares like a little phantom super girl played by Kristen Bell. I'm glad that she isn't frozen because of this movie. It's also a very famous Wonder Woman, and I don't mind her much in that way. Next, next up is Kristen Bell with Platt and Corey Wood Wentz. Now, now, and even Jimmy Bennett, and, well, the next sketch, Includes Jimmy Bennett and Chloe Grace Moretz as a two as a teenage couple. Yeah, they have a, a cute little date, 
and Nick and his bottle and Jimmy's bottle is quick moment supply to McLovin. Now Coin Wise is having his problems in career, but when does she play heel? She plays as a goal, or as a period that does. It's so messy, it's like me don't know what a wall is or anything. I think that's a lead the lean it seemed to kick ass. But to that pack of four button has a woman that fit. Next up is that another sketch is two guys, Sean William Scott and Johnny Knoxville. They play a couple of guys who kind up a leprechaun and hold him hostage finally for his pot of gold. And guess who the leprechaun is? Jalapa. And he, and everyone knows that if Jalapa was on your movie, they, your movie is really sucking. Now, one of the most crazy things that I ever saw in my, uh, crazy sketches I ever saw in my life is Howie Bailey and Stephen Wilson. They play another couple on the buying day. And they do a game of trip or tail. Let's just say it ends up how it's sticking home. In Guacamole. Yeah. Let's just say it, let's just say it ends up a whole ending up a Guacamole. And it's not as cool as you think it is at all. That's up. Terrence Howell plays a coach of a basketball team. team. And he keeps saying you could be those white guys. Well, because you're black. And that's the only joke then in the movie. Kind of awkward and heads, but it And finally, ends up really something weird with Elizabeth Banks and Josh Jamel. They play a couple who the only joke they come between them is, the, is, the, is this animated cat that's owned by Josh Jamel. Now, and that is the worst sketch I ever saw in my life. And keep in mind, don't want to be by very different people that you didn't even know about. I mean, Elizabeth Banks, one of the actors in you, she also directed the statement with the period. Let's do it. And so it was James Gunn from Dawn of the Dead. He did the cat episode. And those was Brett Wilder was Owl. He did the Leprechaun episode. I mean, have you even seen Common Denominator? What all these jokes have? He won't that goes nowhere. This is probably the worst movie I ever saw in my life. A movie that is not only bad, but is owned by one of the variety boards, Peter Ferrelli. It's a good thing that Bobby isn't in, 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 hasn't been in caught onto this idea, because he thinks it's too low humor for him. And who can blame him? I listen on that one. I guess everyone knows. I guess I know why anyone is calling this a worst movie. I understand why Richard Wobble calls this the Sinister Kane of awful. It's like an Evan Pooh joke. It's something on the new year. I've been paying money for it. Well, that could be worse. I always thought there was always a bad movie coming out sometimes. Maybe Corona Free will be on soon. But so with that said, maybe they should take a different route and not mean like it's a full goal here about it. Yes. Anyways, I think that we want to just a double thumbs down. A triple thumbs down. Maybe a quadruple thumbs down. Just these thumbs. I get the thumbs down. I had to say, this here was the worst movie I've ever seen in my life. And I think you should, yeah, you guys can not see it as well. So, hope you know about that. Just one double. They, they say, the simple stars unleashed. This year is terrible. But in the moment, comedy still takes that title. So I'm not gonna... Uh, but still, movie for me is really the bad movie I've ever seen in my life. I know that. I'm Alex Hotel. Hope you subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time.